And uh, to, my name's uh, Jim Kirkland. I'm a geriatrician, also a basic scientist. I'm director of the Kogod Center on Aging at uh, Mayo Clinic. Uh, my interest is in uh, cellular senescence in particular, but in, uh, looking for um, drugs that will modulate fundamental aging processes in order to target age-related diseases as a group instead of one at a time. It's now possible in mice to extend health span and to delay onset of age-related chronic diseases by targeting fundamental aging processes. And one of these processes is cellular senescence. Senescent cells accumulate with increasing age in a variety of tissues. Uh, senescent cells also accumulate at the sites of age-related chronic diseases. For example, you find senescent cells in atherosclerotic plaques that lead to heart attacks and strokes. You find senescent cells around lesions in Alzheimer's disease. You find them near cancers. You find them in joints with osteoarthritis. Uh, you find them in fat tissue, the pancreas, um, the kidneys, and diabetes. So there's been an association noted between accumulation of senescent cells, aging, and development of age-related chronic diseases. Furthermore, interventions that increase lifespan, for example, uh, food restriction in experimental animals, or mutations that slow down the rate at which aging processes occur, are also associated with a decrease in accumulation of senescent cells. Senescent cells produce a variety of factors that cause dysfunction in neighboring cells and that also get into the circulation. So a very small number of senescent cells, because they produce a range of toxic factors that influence nearby cells and cells at a distance, can cause overall dysfunction. What we did a number of years back was to make animals from which we could selectively eliminate senescent cells using a genetic trick. We found these animals had increased health span. And this was, these were rapidly aging animals, though. More recently, we found that with chronological age, with natural aging, we're able to delay the onset of age-related uh, conditions uh, by clearing senescent cells from these genetically modified mice. This year, or, or sorry, in 2015, we uh, discovered um, a class of drugs that we call senolytic drugs. These are drugs that selectively eliminate senescent cells in non-genetically modified individuals. So we uh, developed some, uh, some of these drugs, gave them to uh, mice, and found that we were able to enhance cardiovascular function in old animals. We were able to delay uh, and uh, prevent radiation-induced damage because radiation is one of the things which can cause cellular senescence. And we found that we were able to delay frailty, neurologic dysfunction, osteoporosis, and other problems in mice with an accelerated aging-like state. More recently, we found that in older animals, um, we're able to uh, alleviate diabetes as well uh, by uh, using these drugs. And other drugs have since appeared based on the approach that we use for developing the first uh, senolytic agents. So next, what we're contemplating doing is taking these to human trials to see if we can alleviate age-related uh, diseases. Targeting fundamental aging processes, including clearing senescent cells, amongst other approaches, may be a way that we can add years to, um, we, we can add life to years and also um, uh, increase health span. We might increase lifespan as well, but that's would be a, a side effect. You know, what we really want to do is, is, is increase health span, the period during which people um, are free of age-related chronic diseases. In addition to clearing senescent cells, other approaches have been developed that appear to extend health span in experimental animals. Those approaches, plus clearing senescent cells, are close to the point of um, being tested in clinical trials. It's a little way off yet, but the goal would be to see if we can uh, prevent or alleviate age-related chronic diseases in people at high risk of these uh, conditions to begin with. Maybe this might go further, I'm not sure, but the, the goal is to try to add a few months or a few years to health span uh, to people who are at risk of losing their independence. Needs to be tested in clinical trials. There's a long way to go yet.